All right, I want to start off this video by saying Happy New Year to everyone. This will be, unless I decide to put it up today or tomorrow, the first video of 2024, so happy 2024. And even if it's not the first video of 2024, last video of 2023, Happy New Year. So what I'm gonna try and do today is put this water box that I got out of the um, X2 and I'm gonna try and take the water boxes in the Project 650 and I'm gonna try and put this one in there. There's really not a lot I can do on the Project 650 because um, it's winter time and I kinda need to paint it and the heater's just not the, as I've said in like three other videos, the insulation is just not up to par with Michigan weather. So unfortunately, the Project 650SX has kind of, the project has kind of stalled. So I don't know how much, how many more videos I'll be putting out between now and, I don't know, March. Obviously we're gonna have some snowboarding videos in there and maybe taking the dog for a walk or something, but yeah, just the, it's losing heat too fast and I'm not able to be out there as much as I want to, so. That kind of puts a damper on things, but I'm gonna try and go out there today. I've, I've had the heater on for a while, and I'll check and see how warm it is out there. So it's 52, almost 53 out there, so, and it's 33 outside, so it's not bad out there. It's definitely gonna be warm, but yeah, after today, after this video, I think the videos might slow down, and then once it gets a little bit warmer out and the heater's a little bit more efficient, the video should pick back up again. But in January and February, don't expect a whole lot of videos. I'll do what I can, but we still have our Christmas tree up. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take the camera out there with me. Don't know how long this is gonna take me. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but the other water box is still strapped in. I obviously have to be careful because it's got all the exhaust hoses on it and I don't want to damage those, so let's go out there. So I was out here tinkering around with this, kind of trying to figure out what all I had. And I put the gas tank back in. Obviously, I have to take that out to get to the water box, but I wanted to make sure I had the straps and everything. So that's what I did. I did that off camera, obviously, but... So it definitely appears that someone it looks like someone has been in here and I'm wondering if maybe this exhaust hose was replaced because this hose clamp was not tight at all but I guess we'll see um, it looks like I don't know this that doesn't look like it's ever been out it's got marks from where these straps were hanging so I guess we'll just keep going Crusty, just like the rest of the ski. Not really surprised by that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a good thing I didn't just do. Oh yeah, I'll just run the stock water box. It'll be fine. And this is why when you pick up a ski that's been sitting for more than like two seasons, yeah, this is exactly why you take it all the way apart and you go through it because. I'm pretty sure that's a mouse nest. Hopefully there's not a mouse in it right now. Yikes. As you can see, I got the TV on. I think that's pretty sweet. It's nice to be able to have that on. I'm gonna get this other hose off. And then it looks like I've got four bolts to pull out. So I don't know if, I really don't know how this, I don't know if it just, it's supposed to just rest on those maybe. Obviously it doesn't bolt in there.
Yep, I don't really know how I'm going to put this one in there, but I'm assuming that these just rest in there and then you just strap it back down, but I really don't know. Also, I think I'm going to, I don't know if I should shove something in this hose. I mean, this was the one that was full of leaves and it makes sense because that is from the rear of the ski, which I have blocked off. But this is obviously from when it was sitting. I'm sure I'll have to clean out, or let's see. It's not too, it's pretty crusty up there. It's not, it's not too bad. I obviously can't power wash it or anything, but I don't know if I hit it with some Dawn. I don't know if any of this stuff will come off. It's just years of grime all up in there. It looks okay though, I don't see any cracks or anything. Looks good, doesn't look like it's cracked. Pretty sure those are supposed to be glued on. But I guess now we'll put the other water box in, we'll see if it fits. So, I'll try and clean this out at some point. Maybe degrease it, but I'm gonna put these things back in and see if I can get that set in there at least and strapped. All right, so I got it in there. I'm a little, I'm kind of concerned about this, but also there's these rubber pieces right here. So this can like rub up. I feel like that's what it's designed for is to rub right up against that. And then obviously the pipe will hold it over. So I don't think that's that big of an issue. And then this one obviously goes on the bottom there. So I think it's going to work. I'm probably, I got to take it back out. Obviously I got to. I might try and get this hose on more. It's pr There's some weld right here. I don't want to grind it down or sand it down, but it might help it. But this is definitely how it's supposed to go. And I'm pumped. PJS water box is installed. For now, anyway. And, yeah. This is sick. I'm going to have the spare over here for my... I'll just have a spare. I just, I'm gonna clean this up. Obviously not gonna get rid of it. It's gonna be a spare. So I'm pretty pumped. So that's pretty much all, pretty much all for this video. Sorry if this is short, but I, there's not a lot I can do. Um, it's getting warm out here, it's up to 57. So it's really not bad considering it's 30 out and it's almost 60 in here. This heater, once I get some insulation in here, Oh my gosh, it's going to be a game changer. But I'm going to clean things up, and then I'm actually pretty excited to go edit this, upload it. It won't take that long to edit because it's pretty short, but I tried to include the whole process. Obviously, it's just one thing, but yeah, that's it. So hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit uh, 1,200 subscribers. That's my next goal, so... We're at like a little over 1100. So, and let me know if you guys want to see more Project 650SX content. Obviously, I know you guys do, but um, hopefully go check out the last snowboarding video, the most recent video. And yeah, see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. See ya.